it's Jess. If you're new here, then welcome. And guys, if you've been with me for a while, thank you for coming back. So these are general readings, and that means they will not resonate for everyone. So please just take what's meant for you and then leave the rest behind for someone else. It is energy, and that means the roles could be reversed. So if you need to flip-flop the roles around for it to resonate, please feel free to do so. As always, information for scheduling a personal reading will be in the description box below. And guys, if you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you hit that notification bell, then when our monthlies, mid-monthlies, and weekly check-ins are uploaded, you will be notified, and you can come hang out with us. So this is going to be a reading, a mid-monthly reading for October for my beautiful Libras. And I'm sorry that they are a few days late, guys. Um, I usually try to have them out before now, but I have not been feeling well. And today, or yesterday, I recorded a couple. Yesterday was the first day that I have had any energy to do readings. So I really appreciate your guys' support and your patience. And I love you guys so much. So thank you so much for being patient with me. All right, we're just going to get into it. Archangels and guides, please deliver clear, concise, and precise messages. For my beautiful Libras, now through the end of October, may the messages that need to be heard the most come through, and may they please find those who need to hear them. Very clear messages with a very clear understanding for my beautiful Libras for the rest of October in love. Show me Libra's energy in love, please. Libra's situation. What's going on with Libra's in love now through the end of October? Libra's in love now through the end of October, please. I feel like giving you one more shuffle, guys. Libra's in love now through the end of October. Very clear messages, please. All right, let's see what we got. All right, let me take a look here. All right, we're just going to get into it. So, we there is Oh, Libras, there is a lot of love in this situation. This is the supporting energy, the energy that is supporting this reading. We have the Eight of Pentacles, the King of Cups, and the Ace of Swords. This is the energy of knowing how much you love somebody. Knowing how true the, the bond is that you guys share. Um, knowing that you put a lot of work into it knowing that you gave a lot to it, that you that you really tried your best. Um, those, are, those are your truths. And that's what's kind of supporting this reading. Is you, you know that you know that you love this person. You know that they they have love for you. And regardless of what has gone on between the two of you, that that's a truth that can't be taken away. You know that. No matter what each other has done, what's transpired, you know that that's there. And you know that you've really tried. With that eight of pentacles, you, you really put a lot of work into this. And you know that. And I feel like you feel good about that because you know that you gave the effort. You tried. So, in the recent past, we have the high priestess and the page of wands in reverse. So, I'm feeling like... In the past, there were some secrets 
whether from you or from your person, from things unknown. It doesn't have to be some like dark, deep skeleton in the closet type secrets, you know, but it can be, you know, maybe just uncertainty, maybe just really not knowing where to go from here. And the, the page of wands being in reverse, I feel like one, this is really bad communication. Two, I feel like it's not knowing how to make a new beginning, not knowing how to like what action to take to turn things around. And I feel like there was just a lot of uncertainty in this connection. Then in the current, we have the Seven of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So the Seven of Swords, I feel a lot of times it can be lying, cheating, stealing energy, but I'm not really feeling that um, with this. I'm really not. Right now, I feel like it feels a little bit of self-deceit, maybe not being able to see your part in it all the way. Um, I also feel like it's a lot of kind of self-preservation at this point is kind of the energy that I'm feeling from it. You can see here it he's he's trying it it's the energy of trying to take care of yourself, trying to take care of the situation kind of by any means necessary. It's really what I feel like you feel like there's the birds circling up ahead. There's so much going on around you. There's so much dooming on your like on your relationship, on your connection, and you're just trying to handle one thing at a time. It's like you're carrying too much. In the original, you know, Rider Waite tarot, the Seven of Swords, a guy is carrying a pile of swords. You know, sometimes it can represent, you know, just having too much, to, trying to carry too much, having too much. And I feel like that's what this is. Like he, this guy's bending off bird after bird after bird. And it's like, just there's just too much. And you don't really know where to go. And you're trying to have that mentality of, okay, I'll just keep fighting for this and this eight of pentacles energy i'll just keep going with this i'll keep doing whatever i have to do you know but it's it's getting to be too much in your person the knight of pentacles in reverse they also have the page of wands in reverse so this is the energy of this is no action being taken it's like your person isn't doing anything so you're the one sitting here slaying bird after bird problem after problem you know trying to combat whatever comes at you guys and it feels like you're doing it alone your person isn't really doing anything these are zero actions and the pentacles are already slow energy as it is you could be dealing with a earth sign taurus virgo capricorn there is a lot of earth energy here i also have a lot of fire energy too uh aries leo sagittarius it doesn't have to be any of those um because as i like to tell you guys all the time we all have so many different signs in our chart that really doesn't matter those are just the ones that i'm seeing um, very prevalently right now so your person, the pentacles are already very slow moving energy guys. Um, they're definitely not, you know, big action takers. So I feel like this is when it's in the reverse. This is no action being taken. They're not really doing anything. They're not trying at all. And I feel like that's really getting to you because in your mind, you're thinking about walking away. You have the eight of cups in your mental sector. And I feel like it's simply just because you feel like you can't do this anymore. You cannot be the only one trying for your connection anymore. You're starting to disconnect emotionally. Even if you're not actually thinking of physically leaving, this is the energy of disconnecting. She's walking out of the water, out of the emotion and onto the land. She's disconnecting emotionally. She has her back turned towards the love, towards the connection. And I feel like that's what it is because you're tired of being the only one fighting. In your person, I feel like they've just lost... They've lost their confidence. Um, I'm kind of feeling a little bit of a depressive energy from your person. Libra, it feels like they don't know. They've lost their confidence that they can make this right. They don't know what to do. They have the six of wands in reverse in their energy. So they're feeling like they've already lost. They're feeling very down and out about themselves. They don't know what to do from here. And I feel like that's why they're not taking any action. I do feel um, a pretty heavy depressive energy from them right now. It's like they don't know what to do. They don't have any confidence in themselves that they can make this better. That's probably why they're not trying. It's kind of that energy of, you know, if I can't do it, I might as well just not do anything. You know, it's, they've just, they've lost their drive. They've lost their will. They don't really know what, how to fix this. So it seems like they've just given up. 
So in your heart, you have the Eight of Wands in reverse. I feel like you're kind of getting to be the point where you're done talking about it. I feel like you've talked and talked and talked. You've expressed to this person how you feel. You expressed to this person that you want effort from them and you're not getting it. And I feel like you're done putting in the effort. The Eight, eight of Wands is action. It's things coming in, things going out. And you have it in reverse. You're just done. I feel like you're done trying because this person isn't. But in their heart, they're still holding on. They have the Four of Pentacles. So they're still really holding on. You can see like this girl is clinging on to this tree for a dear life. I feel like that's what this person is. This person loves you. They know that they love you. They know you guys have been through a lot. And they're holding on to you in their heart. They just don't know how to like how, what to do from here. How to make it better. How to turn it around. You know, the page of wands is in the upright. It is all about new beginnings and going on a new venture, you know, having a new venture. And this is like in the reverse. When it's in the reverse, it's like you don't know how to do that. You don't know how to have a new beginning. That's really just how I'm feeling. Your person does not know how to turn this around. And I feel like you, there's no reason. Like you have every right to want to give up. You have every right to stop putting in effort. You have every right to feel the way that you do, Libra, because you have given and given and given. And you've been fighting by yourself because this person has no action. And for anybody, no matter how much you love somebody, that's exhausting. It's exhausting. So I, I totally understand why you feel the way that you do. <sighs> how you see them as the emperor and then the reverse. You see them as somebody who is not taking care of their responsibilities. Who, you know, is not in control of themselves. Um, they're not, and just definitely not a very responsible person. You see them as somebody who's kind of immature who's acting kind of young, who's not handling their stuff. They could, they could be, you know, doing things like missing work or just not keeping up on the house or whatever it is. This is a person who's not handling their business and their kindness, kind of an immature energy too. And I feel like that's how you're seeing them at this time. They're seeing you as the justice card, which is Libra energy. So they see you for you and they're seeing you as like, look how strong she is. They are seeing you as strong. They are seeing you as somebody who knows their mind, knows their heart, knows what they want, who speaks their truth. They're seeing you for you. I just feel like they don't know. They don't know what to do with themselves. This is more of a reflection of how they feel about them than anything to do with you, Libra. So them acting like this isn't because of anything that you've done. It's not because they don't love you or because of anything of you. I feel like they have some stuff going on with them. This is all about them. So your action is the king of swords in the reverse. Libra, I feel like you are soon going to tell this person all about themselves. If you have not already, that's what kind of your action is. Is The king of swords can be very um, blunt and forward and set boundaries. But when it's in the reverse, he can be very nasty. And he can also, I feel like it's kind of you hiding from them what you're going to do from here. I definitely think you're going to be detaching emotionally from this person and telling them all about themselves. Like, I think there's going to be ultimatums. If you don't start putting effort in, if you don't start trying, I'm done here. And that's just really the energy. I feel like this is kind of, this person can be, when it's in the reverse, a little bit nasty, a little bit mean, say some not nice things. And I think that's where it was, you know, that's where this energy is heading because you're hurt. It's not like you want to be mean to this person, Libra, but you're hurt because you've been giving and giving and giving till you don't have anything left to give and they've done nothing. That's what it appears. They've done nothing. So I do just feel like you're, you're about to your breaking point. And this person though, I like at the end, maybe that's what they need. Maybe they need you to tell them about themselves because their action is the nine of wands and the nine of wands is a really good energy to have here because this is the energy it's like warrior energy it's it doesn't matter how much i've been beaten down it doesn't matter how broken i am or what's going on i'm gonna keep fighting and i really feel like that's what's happening this is going to whether this is an ultimatum that you give your person whether this is you just really lashing out and then finally like getting some kind of wake-up call now i'm not advocating for anybody to be cruel to anybody because i you know that's never the right way to do it but I feel like that it, it's definitely something that could be coming but I feel like you really telling this person how it is is what's going to really give them a wake-up call because they have the nine of wands so they are definitely going to like gear up 
and really be willing to put the work in and fight for this. This is definitely the energy of not giving up. The mutual energy is the Nine of Pentacles. So you guys are both kind of feeling very much on your own right now. Like your person feels alone and misunderstood. And I feel like it's because I don't think they're being very honest with you about what's going on with them. And they know that you're hurt and they know that they've done that. And they know that you're upset and they know that they haven't been putting their stuff in. So they feel very alone with their thoughts and feelings and with their guilt, you know, with their emotions. And because you have been the only one fighting for this connection, because you've been the only one trying and this person isn't being open and honest with you, they're not telling you what's going on with them. I really feel like you also feel really alone. That's why it's the mutual energy. You guys just both feel you're in this connection, but you both feel so alone. But I do think, like I said, I feel like you being bluntly honest, your person is going to, they're going to gear up. When it comes down to ultimatum time, they're gearing up because, you know, they're stepping into that nine of wands and your outcome is the four of wands. This is love. This is stability. This is commitment. So... I mean, look at that. That's what it is. I love this. So, you know, I know it's been hard, but it really does feel like there is going to be a turnaround here. So your person looks like they're going to get to the point where they're about to not give up. And Libra, I feel like you are this strong, beautiful warrior justice card here. I feel like between when they finally step up, I feel like that's going to spark something in you as well. And you guys will both have enough fight to get it to here. I really love this. Okay. It does not make it easy. And you've been doing a lot of this by yourself. And it's been very hard, Libra. We are going to pull a couple romance oracle cards now. See if we can't get... See if we can't get... Um, I just, for some reason, I just completely lost my train of thought. We're going to get some messages from the spirit, spirit, archangels, and guides for you. See what other messages we can get to help you out through this situation. Archangels and guides, as you watch over my beautiful Libras for the rest of October, what messages can we have for them? What messages would help them out the very most? Let's see. Codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life. So, yes, absolutely. Like I said, I feel like a heavy depressive energy from your person. Um, it can be that kind of energy that is affecting your life. It can also be your person could be drinking or doing other things, um, unhealthy things, because they are in that, like, depressive state, and that really could be a factor as well. And free yourself. It is time to take back control of your life. And however that means for you, if you, you know, just because the cards say that you guys are going to, you know, work this out. This is up to you, Libra. You have free will. This is just saying where the energy lies right now. If it stays on this path, this is the most likely outcome. But you guys have free will. You guys can change that at any time. So if you don't want to try with this person, you don't have to. Some of you, it could mean, you know, freeing yourself from the connection. But I really feel like for the most of you, this is just you standing up for yourself. This is you being bl bluntly honest. This is you, even if it is ultimatums, whatever it is, this is you standing up for yourself. It's you getting into that justice warrior vibe that we talked about and, you know, taking back the control and being like, okay, I'm not going to keep doing this. So if there's not changes, then I'm done. And this is you stepping into that energy. We are going to pull a couple moonology cards. Stuff's trying to fly out before I even got time to break. A couple moonology cards for you too. Archangels and guides, spirits and ancestors. As you watch over my beautiful Libras through the rest of October, what messages can we give that would help them the very most in this situation? Expect a powerful change. New moon eclipse. I love it. I love it. We will be having a new, or we will have a eclipse in November and in December. So that's exciting. And Libras. It just ended Libra season, so happy birthday to you guys. I hope that it was wonderful for you. I guys hope you had such an amazing birthday. And the energy is gaining momentum. Okay, so I'm really feeling like this is that, this is that strength, this is that turnaround that we were talking about. Like, your 
your honesty and your action and you taking control is going to gain momentum. It's going to spark that energy within your person and it is going to create a powerful change. I am feeling such a strong vibe here. I feel like this is going to end up making your connection stronger than it ever was before. This is stability right here. And I just really, really strongly feel like this, you know, even though it's been hard, is going to, like you guys overcoming this together, is going to really show you guys how much you love each other. It's really going to show you guys how strong you guys can be together. It's really going to show you that you guys can overcome anything. We are going to pray to the Archangels now and use the Archangel Oracle decks to ask what messages they have for you as they watch over and guide you for the rest of October. Archangels, as you watch over and guide my beautiful Libras now through the end of October, what message would you have for them that would help them out the very most? What do they need to hear the very most? You are safe, Archangel Michael. I am protecting you against lower energies and guarding you, your loved ones, and your home. Such a powerful thing. It reminds me of the Justice card just standing there with that sword. So you are being protected. You are being watched over. You are being guided right now. And no lower energies are going to be able to affect you, and especially in this situation. So I feel like the Archangels have your back. Let's see what else flew out for you. Moon cycles, Archangel Heniel, notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalize upon these cycles. So guys, we will be having a full moon on October 31st and it is going to be a blue moon. This is the perfect time to write down intentions for things that you want to release. So any kind of negative thing, whether it's, you know, these marriage problems or, you know, relationship problems or whatever little thing, it's your person's depression, whatever stuff that you want to work on releasing from your life is the perfect time to do that. I like to write mine down. I go out there and I pray and I light it on fire and send it off into the night sky, but you don't have to go do all that. If that's a little much for you. You can just write it down and set the intention, you know, before you go to bed that that is what you want to release. And I find that it makes me feel so much better. It you know gives me what I want to focus on through that whole moon cycle is releasing those negative things. So that's just an idea. If that resonates with you, great. And if it doesn't, it's okay. Don't worry about it. All right, guys. If this resonated, please let me know in the comments down below. And if this is your situation and you would like personal prayers, if you put the little prayer emoji inside of the comments, just a little prayer emoji in the comments, I will pray for you personally, okay? So just if don't feel ashamed, don't feel embarrassed. If you need prayers, we all do sometimes, feel free to put it up there and I will pray for you. Um, if this does resonate and you feel called to do so, please like, share, and subscribe. I will be starting our November monthlies here in a couple days. So we'll be getting those out to you too. Sending lots of love and light.